good morning, everybody. <laughs> kind of packed up my stuff, but for the tent over there. Kind of a break in the rain. Man, it promises to be a real good day. <laughs> Quite a nice little explosion going on in here, but it is warm and it is dry. There's plenty of snow up in the mountains there and uh, plenty of rain coming down right now. What a welcome little shelter this is. Uh, full facilities too. Kind of got things dried up here for the most part. Well, probably dry as they're going to be. Stupid checks complete, tidied up after ourselves. Nothing, uh, leave, no leave no trace. Yep, exactly. And have an opportunity to see the locks here in action. And there is our blaze. So a uh, short bit of road around here and then back to the canal. So we bust out onto the road for just a short little bit here. You can see the blaze is just right there and that'll take us back down to the canal. But I'm gonna stop here and see I can't show you the snow up on the mountains. Yeah, there. It's cleared just enough to see it. See it pretty well. There's kind of that line right in the middle. And I don't know what the height is, but definitely snow up there. Down here where we were camping, it was probably about like four degrees last night. Uh, the ground was a little bit cold for me with that tiny little sleeping mat that I have. Uh, so it wasn't the greatest. In hindsight, maybe I should have brought it, but I just don't like those air mattresses. Uh, I use them when I need to when it's cold, but it's kind of right on the line. So I think I'm all right without it, but it was a bit chilly for me. <laughs> but I know as soon as you're up and moving, they warm up. And the nights are not long here. I think it's about six, maybe six and a half hours of darkness. Uh, by four, it's light. And uh, up here, it seems like 10, 30, 11, maybe. The sun goes down. So not a long, dark night, but a cool one. Oh, wow. Not only is it a beautiful beach, what a treasure there is here. How big that thing is. Yeah. Oh, man. Looks to have been here quite a while. <laughs> Hey, there's the Pepper Pot Lighthouse over there. Whew. Looks like we got ourselves a little Ford or two. So if you look up ahead, dee -dee -dee -dee. <laughs> let me see. I don't know that this it's gonna be very possible to keep the feet dry. That might be what that other part is on. Switch around there. Gotta cross it either way. Let's see. 
So far dry. Cross one. <laughs> this one's gonna be tough. Ah, uh, I agree. I agree. So I flew across, got the left foot front half wet. This is the point where you just got to commit to the bank. There's some midges down there too, just to add to the excitement. All right. Ah, I had to get the right one wet to match the left one. Well done though, brother. Whew. I didn't end up on my back, so I'll take it. <laughs> Awesome. More or less. Freedom! <laughs> I got free, but not quite the dumb. <laughs> Whew. Uh, scratches. After a, uh, after a good steady half hour of rain, we're here at the Clan Cameron Museum split. Goes up here to the Aknacary uh, House, I believe it's called, or maybe just Aknacary. Sorry for the pronunciation. <laughs> uh, this is where the Great, Great Glen uh, Way goes down this way. But I think we're gonna take this detour. It'll add maybe two miles to our route but I think there's some pretty cool stuff along the way. And uh, sure enough, Scotland, you give us a little pinch of sunshine here. Oh, oh. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Clansmen, while away a day, sitting underneath that bed. Celebrating the National Everybody Day before you Oh, is it Not even a Cameron, but it was like a really, you could, it was just a special place. The amount of history that they oh, have definitely. in there is really cool. It's well worth the stop and uh, well worth, I think, the, the detour off the trail for us. And was really nice, very informative. don't usually film in the pouring rain, but this, this warrants it. Wow. Woo. Just in awe, I think. It's calm, right? <laughs> So right here, that's where we've came from, up by the Clan Cameron. This is where the trail officially goes, and we can see our blaze right here. 
another commando training. Seven miles under 70 minutes, followed by digging a defensive position. Part of their training? Part of the training. Nine miles in under 90 minutes. That's hustling. Yeah, man. 15 miles in under three hours. That's... That's why they're commandos. <laughs> with their kit, their backpack and stuff, or whatever they're carrying. We're not making that kind of speed. No, no, no. I don't see us doing uh, 15 miles in three hours. Yeah. I don't see any first sergeant screaming in my <laughs> ear hole, so I think I'll just keep on my pace, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. White underneath, green on the top, red on the moss. Oh, nice big old tree leaning out over Lock Log. And you know how I give you a hard time that you got to share some of the the ups and the downs of the trail? Yeah. I was walking along back there. I'm glad you didn't have the camera on me. Let's go with that. Walking along, both my poles conveniently held in my left hand, not in use. So I'm digging out a tartlet to stuff in my pie hole. I stepped on a rock bunny and down I went. Flopped on my back like a turtle. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would have made for some good humor, but I did kind of tuck and roll. So I, it looked kind of graceful in a tragically bad sense, but it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Rody Springs. <laughs> Look at that. Figured it's worth popping down here to see what this is. There's no signage to say it otherwise. Don't know if this is maybe a Wayfair stop or not. Kind of like a place that we could camp, uh, like we did last night. <laughs> Don't be a bear. Poo in bear. <laughs> oh man. See the beach and ah, <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. I think this is the glass dory, I think is what it's called. Oh, I just see a bee go in a foxglove. Oh, little bumbler doing its thing. So there's another fella up here. I forget his name. Fort Williams. That I just hiked. No fear. Crumbs. Yep. <coughs> I think they used to find some food here. Yeah. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> He definitely knows. So we just swung down to the shelter. Let's back a little bit and down below and uh, ran into a fella down there from Bulgaria. His name was Panchuk. 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 Something like that, I guess. It was really hard to pronounce for me anyways. And uh, he had a good laugh about it. <laughs> and... Uh, He's just traveling the world on his bicycle and 
he had an extra day or two before he flies off to Iceland. So he's kind of loitering here in the woods and enjoying Scotland. Get a real good, good plan, I think. Yeah. But we got some miles to go, so keep on going. This is what it's all about, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Every day a rainbow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so the Scottish fella, Paul, we were talking to him yesterday and Gary Lockie and saw the rainbow and we were telling him about it and he just was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We see them all the time or whatever. <laughs> I'm beginning to see what he means, but it doesn't get old. Eagle Barge. Don't know if you'd necessarily know it from the outside but mighty fine cooking going on in there so they were opening it up just when we got here so we popped in grabbed some sausages and some uh chips chips sausages and chips oh, good stuff met a bunch of wonderful people michael in particular young fella he's hiking the uh, great Glen way Ooh, he's got wings on his shoes or something. <laughs> he started in Fort William today. And, uh, well, we started there yesterday. <laughs> we passed us somewhere along the way. I think it's when we're up at Clan The Clan Cameron. Cameron's house, yeah. yeah. But, uh, man, it was nice meeting you. I uh, hope to run into you up here. Speed demon like yourself, though, I might not. <laughs> he's, uh, he's got a great attitude and, uh, just a little bit of time to hike, so there's a purpose to his uh, to his speed. But wonderful meeting you. Everything is so wet. <laughs> Everything is so wet. <laughs> this is called the Great Glen Hostel. As far as hostels go, this is like five out of five, I think. What a day, brother! What a day. Great time. Met a lot of good people. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic.